It's cold out there tonight across southern West Virginia. We're seeing 28 in Summersville, 27 in Marlinton, 24 in Lewisburg, 27 in Beckley, and we're still just above freezing down in the coal fields. So on radar tonight, we're dry out there across the area. So we're going to be seeing those dry conditions continuing through the day tomorrow before that rain fills in on Thursday. We can see many watches, warnings, advisories all the way through the United States. This is because of that very cold air and that very strong cold front heading toward us. And that's going to be impacting us at the end of this week. So for the future radar, we could see some mixed precipitation Thursday morning and that's going to move out. We could see some breaks in that rain on Thursday and then we can see that snow across the area Friday morning. This is around 3 a.m. snow showers across much of the region. Then we could see some isolated snow showers on the back end of that system. This could lead to a few light accumulations, one to two inches here in southern West Virginia. And we can see a little bit more accumulations in the highest elevations in Pocahontas and Greenbrier counties. So for that five day temperature trend, yeah, we're going to be seeing some snow, but the main concern with this system are the temperatures. So our average high temperature for this time of year, 45 degrees. So tomorrow going to be seasonable, Thursday pretty seasonable as well. But Fridays when we see that drop in those temperatures, 20 degrees on Friday, 11 on Saturday, 19 on Sunday. And these are the high temperatures. We haven't even looked at the low temperatures yet. So wind gusts out there for Friday, we could see upwards 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts out there Friday morning. That's going to continue through the day on Friday and through the afternoon, and that's going to lead to some very cold temperatures. So temperature is going to drop quickly with this system. If we take a look at the wind chills, this is what those temperatures are going to be feeling like out there because of those high wind gusts. Very quickly, they fall into the negative 20s. Negative 27 Friday afternoon for that wind chill in Beckley. Negative 23 in Oak Hill. Negative 26 in Bluefield. Negative 37 for that wind chill in Snowshoe up in Pocahontas County. So it's going to be bitterly cold out there at the end of this week. So be prepared with those high wind gusts. We could also see some isolated power outages across the area. And with this temperatures being this cold, make sure you have a plan in place to stay warm in case you do lose power. Over the next seven days, tomorrow going to be a gorgeous day, mostly sunny, 45 degrees. Then for Thursday, we'll see those scattered showers filling in 42 for that high on Friday. That's when that rain's going to change to snow. And we could see a couple inches of snow on the back end of the system, 20 degrees for that high. Then temperatures going to plummet by the end of the week, zero degrees. Saturday morning 11 for that high. We'll see single digits continuing through the weekend and then we'll see gradual warming taking place. We'll finally be out of freezing temperatures by Tuesday of next week. We'll have more news and sports after the break.